Little guys, but that's number three. Pretty colors. See him? Don't lick him. Don't be licking him. Number five, that's a little guy. Ooh, it's a little guy, Dad. It's a little guy. Ooh. All right, that's it. I'll show you guys a little tool I got. Fishing barometer. I got this for about 22 bucks off of Amazon. Uh, this is made by Track. I really like this. As you can see, it's got the different fishing grids listed right on it. Great, good, and poor. And then even down here and below, it's got even finer description as far as rising pressure or falling pressure. Uh, I'm going to start trying to incorporate this. I'm going to, uh, you can check online anytime you want to see barometric pressure, but I wanted this close by. I don't generally keep a phone on me. And so I wanted a quick reference so I can start looking. Nice thing is you can also set this gold pin where your current barometric pressure is setting and then you can see if it's rising or falling at that point. Today is listed as a great fishing day. Uh, I'm gonna test it out and see how that works. I'm gonna start to chronicle some of this on fishing videos. If you're probably like me, there, there's kind of two categories I think about fishermen. You either grew up in a family that had a lot of fishermen and you took to fishing early and was able to shorten that learning curve from either your grandparents or your parents that fished and then there's the other group that parents weren't into fishing but the kids eventually got interested into it and you want to learn but don't really have anybody there to teach you so it's you're just kind of muddling through trying to figure it out so that's a category that i fall into so i've always taken the approach of everything from a kind of a scientific approach with one caveat. I'm the type of guy that when I get something new, I take the instructions directly out and I set them right on the coffee table and I use it as a coaster. I don't read instructions. I start pushing buttons and figuring out as I go along. So that's kind of how I do fishing. I'll try stuff and see if it works. But I think if I really want to perfect and learn more about what I'm doing, I'm going to have to really start chronicling and see if I can put things together. The thing I want to really check is you know days that you have optimal pressure they say that that's the days you can really maybe try different baits and techniques uh i want to test that see how it works also see can i use this barometer to help me gauge when top water will be good i know there's going to be other factors like temperature that go in there as well water clarity but i think this is a real important part and i'm excited about working with this and learning from it and seeing what I can do. So today's got great pressure. It's 30.2 here in Middle Tennessee. And that's millimeters of mercury. That's what they measure your barometric pressure in. So let's get to it. Let's test it out. Great fishing. I'll see if it's lying to me or not. Don't drink that, Nash. Don't drink that water. Don't, don't get back from that. Oh, it's a big crawdad. Look at that. The molten? I think this is just what they found. Wow. No, he's just dead. Phew, I thought he was molten, but whew, that's bad. Get back. That's number five. He's a little guy, but that's number five. That's the best I've done this year so far. Bass in one day in this creek, so I'm excited. Full moon, barometric pressures in the great zone for fishing. Maybe it's, maybe it's uh, a correlation. Well, fishing family. On that note, I'm gonna call it. Been a fun day, get these guys home, get them some food, get myself some food. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, hey, grab your poles. All your buddies. Yeah, that make some members and give me some elbow. And I love you guys. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you real soon.
Well, what's the old saying we say, huh? What do you say? Say, grab your poles, call up your buddies. All right, you guys are a bunch of cows eating grass out here. I can't, I'm never gonna be able to teach them this. 